boys and girls, this story is called The Tiniest Pumpkin. If something is tiny, what does that mean? It's very, what, small. Let's listen to the stories. We continue to talk about pumpkins. The Tiniest Pumpkin. Look all around. Look all around. Look here and look there. Wonder what they're looking for. Something is coming. What is it? Halloween is coming. So they're talking about Halloween, but we're talking about pumpkins. Is Pam ready? Something is missing. What is it? So now let's see. She thinks something is missing. Do you know what it is? <gasps> a pumpkin, said Pam. I will get us a pumpkin. Can we get a pumpkin? So now she's asking her mom about a pumpkin. Can we get a pumpkin? She's asking dad. It's almost Halloween and we want to have a pumpkin. Now we can get a pumpkin and there she's looking at the date. Yes, says mom and dad. Now we can get a pumpkin. They are ready for a pumpkin. Hooray! They're at the pumpkin patch. But still, no pumpkin. Oh no. Are we too late? Says Pam. Too late for a pumpkin? Uh-oh. Let's see what happens. But what is here? A tiny pumpkin. The tiniest pumpkin of all. Hooray, says Pam. So boys and girls, they were able to get a tiny what? Pumpkin. They didn't have, couldn't get the big pumpkins because they waited till the last minute. But they did get a tiny pumpkin. All right. Today, you're going to work on writing your numbers. There are numbers missing on these pumpkins from 1 to 10. You see the number 1, 2, mm, 4, mm, 6, mm, 8, mm, 10. Is that how we count? No. So now, we're going to insert the numbers that's missing. So, And you're going to trace 1, 2. What number comes next? 3. Then 4, 5, 6 is there. 7, 8, 9, 10. Remember, you are to write yours with pencils, with quality. I did a marker and color those pumpkins. Continue to work on your numbers with counting and ways to make what? Five. Four and one, one and four. Two and three, three and two. Is that right? Or five and zero. Great job with that. As we continue to talk about pumpkins, let's sequence, put in the order how pumpkins turn and grow into jack-o'-lanterns right here you have perky pumpkins everybody sees that so you have a whole pumpkin then you have a face then you have an eye then you have a baby pumpkin is that in the right order no does that make sense no so you are going to cut these pictures out after you color them which picture would come first you're exactly right where the pumpkin is still growing remember baby pumpkins are green and then the next one would be what there's your whole pumpkin. You picked a pumpkin. And then you've drawn one eye, and now you've drawn the entire face. Boys and girls, when we sequence, it has to be in the right order, and it has to make sense. So look right here at Mrs. Brown's Perky Pumpkins. I started off with my smaller pumpkins. It grew. I drew an eye, and now I have an entire face. So make sure let's perk up with our pumpkins. <laughs>